Lab-grown killer mosquitoes are about to invade 20 states in the U.S., but you might not want to squash these bugs. The army of weaponized insects will target disease-carrying mosquito populations across the country. The EPA approved the plan from a Kentucky-based biotech startup. They say it's an alternative to killing mosquitoes with pesticides. But people living in the areas where these mosquitoes are about to be released are concerned for their safety. So to help us break it down, we are going to bring in uh, Brian Lovett. He's an entomologist and a Ph.D. student at the University of Maryland. And he's joining us via Skype from the university in uh, College Park. So, Brian. When you hear weaponized mosquitoes, <laughs> it's like something out of a sci-fi plot. Yep. There you there go. You're go. back with us. You, you dropped out for a second. Uh, it's like a sci-fi plot or something. Uh, you've written on this topic. You you know about this extensively. Just mm -hmm. ex explain it a little more. Weaponized mosquito? Yeah. Um, so the name weaponized mosquito sounds really scary, um, but they're not actually weapons to anything except female mosquitoes. So the mosquito that Mosquito Mate wants to release, the company who got this approval, are Aedes albopictus mosquitoes. Uh, this is the invasive tiger mosquito. Um, it's one species, uh, which is a serious problem in the eastern United States and in um, California. And the way that their technology works is by taking advantage of the biology of this mosquito. So the female mosquitoes will bite. They can transmit diseases, yellow fever, dengue, Zika, and chikungunya. But the male mosquitoes, they don't bite. They feed on nectar, and all they really do is mate with female mosquitoes. So this company wants to release these male mosquitoes to go find the female mosquitoes and mate with them. Now, the way that their technology works is with a bacteria called Wolbachia, which lives inside the cells of these male mosquitoes. And when a male mosquito is infected with Wolbachia, it is sterile unless it mates with another female with Wolbachia. So since the natural population of Aedes albopictus doesn't have Wolbachia, all of these mosquitoes that mate with wild mosquitoes won't be able to reproduce. So this will effectively suppress the mosquito population. Okay, so you mentioned the tiger mosquitoes. And when you mm -hmm. said that, I recall, you know, these mosquitoes that have stripes on them, I presume those are the ones, and they mm -hmm. seem to sort of take over several years ago where they weren't around before. And unlike the previous type of mosquitoes, they're, they're flying around at dusk, at dawn, at high noon. They're basically out there all day long. I live in Philadelphia. We have a major mos mosquito problem. Are those yeah. the mosquitoes you're talking about? Yeah, that's exactly right. So this is a mosquito that was introduced to the United States from um, southeastern Asia. So it's an invasive species. Um, and unlike the ones that we have here, naturally, uh, they bite all day long, mercilessly, as you, <laughs> as you yes. pointed out. Uh, and they breed in all sorts of containers. So anything that can even hold a small amount of water in your yard, they'll breed in, they'll produce more mosquitoes in that area. So they can quickly take over um, in areas where they're, they're capable of growing. So for folks who are worried about these mosquitoes, even though the science and the logic behind this is solid, help people understand why pesticides are probably not the way you want to go and this is a more viable solution. So one of the biggest issues with uh, pesticides is where do you spray them? Mosquitoes are hard to find and the places where you do find them, it's hard to target them with these pesticides. Um, so the major advantage to this technology over pesticides is, uh, one, these male mosquitoes are actively seeking out females. And then the other thing that they're doing is they're only mating with females of the same species. So you don't have to worry about this technology hurting any other insects. So these are mosquitoes, though. I mean, they, they bite mm -hmm. like other mosquitoes. What happens when you get bitten by a weaponized mosquito? Yeah, so the mosquitoes that they're releasing are males, so they don't actually bite anyone. Oh, there you um, go. Learn something so new. These, these mosquitoes, all they're going to do is they're going to feed on nectar in your backyard um, and mate with these female mosquitoes. Um, so they're not going to hurt you at all. And then regarding the bacteria, uh, which, which they put in these uh, mosquitoes, it's actually very common. So 60% of insects uh, have this Wolbachia already. It's already flying around in your backyard and other insects. Um, it's very safe for humans. It can only infect insects and some other arthropods. So what I find uh, interesting, Brian, is how this is being used in the United States. But as you well know, mosquitoes are responsible for killing so many people around the world, specifically in third world countries, uh, in mm -hmm. Africa, uh, in, in, uh, in India. I wonder, could this be used 
in a place like Nigeria, for example, where children die of malaria, uh, other countries where young people, young kids essentially are dying from malaria, as, as you know, it's one of the number one killers in the world. Yeah, um, so Wolbachia certainly could be used uh, to try to control Anopheles mosquitoes as well, which are the ones that are, are transmitting malaria. Um, however, a lot of Anopheles species, uh, they're very cryptic, which means they don't mate with um, they don't mate with one another, or they have sort of smaller populations which don't mate as easily as mm. these 80s populations where you can create a mosquito in Kentucky, like this company Mosquito Mate, and release it elsewhere in the country and it will still be just as effective. Mm. Um, so there are some difficulties to using it in Africa, certainly. So I have one, one last question for mm -hmm. you. As much as they are annoying, mosquitoes are part of the ecosystem. I mean, they, you know, they're food for birds and so on yeah. and so forth. And is there a problem if you send out these weaponized mosquitoes and they, you know, slash the regular mosquito population in half or more? Is that going to affect the balance of the ecosystem? Uh, so by removing this one mosquito species, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to return that ecosystem back to what it was before this mosquito invaded. Um, so the ecosystem should be able to adapt and, and will be fine if these mosquitoes are released. Other mosquitoes which aren't transmitting diseases or aren't as um, annoying to us uh, can replace that population. Really fascinating stuff. Brian mm -hmm. Lovett, thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank it. you for talking to me.